So that uh, that goes into um, Salim Khan's question. He's interested in your take on uh, what it would take to have a working quantum computer. So do you think it will be this understanding of further understanding of these Bose-Einstein condensates? Well, a quantum computer goes beyond silicon. Yeah. So, for example, uh, some of my friends who work on robots mm -hmm. say that since silicon power doubles every 18 months, by 2050, we're all going to be in zoos. <laughs> Our robot creations will throw peanuts at us and make us dance behind bars, just like we make bears dance behind bars today. Right. Wrong. <laughs> There's a problem. Okay. By 2020, we will exhaust the power of silicon, as I mentioned, and it's not clear whether robots will be super particle, powerful by 2050 because Moore's law is going to collapse. Right. Quantum computers, however, are not ready for prime time yet. Mm -hmm. The world's record for a quantum computation with a quantum computer was set by IBM. The calculation was 3 times 5 equals 15. <laughs> That's the world's <laughs> record, even today, for a quantum calculation. Why is it so important? That calculation yeah. was done on atoms, right. individual atoms, all vibrating in synchronization. The tiniest vibration, cosmic rays from outer space, could ruin the coherence, and your calculation is uh, out the window. Right. But we think that quantum, computer, co quantum computers could be the way of the future if we can master the problem of decoherence impurities, a truck going by, vibrating, and all of a sudden your atoms don't vibrate in unison anymore. Or just radiation. So if we're, using, yeah, if we're using computers, these quantum computers in the future, say in outer space, you know, where their rays were not as protected you know, mm -hmm. by our electromagnetic field like the planet Earth is, but out in space they would be decohered very easily. Right. So the good news to all of this is that maybe we won't have robots in 2050 that are smarter than us. But the bad news is we don't know what's going to replace silicon power. Maybe mm -hmm. Silicon Valley will be re replaced by a quantum valley if somebody mm -hmm. masters the art of computing on atoms rather than computing on silicon. All right.